So after a year of virtually uh, hooking up with our friends at Benvenuto in Milford, a year of uh, a crackling connection, a year of not being able to taste test the food. Look who's here. The big guy himself is back with us in Historic Studio D. <laughs> yeah, you probably recognize Chef Jesus Gordiani. And uh, first of all, welcome yeah, back. Thank you. It's thank so, you so nice much for to having see me. you in person. I'm excited to be here. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so what are we making today? So today, uh, actually, it was uh, requested by Jimmy, right? One well. of his favorite dishes <laughs> at the restaurant is the uh, chipino. Oh, okay. So, uh, he said, hey, can you show us how to make it, right? And I said, You, you sure. didn't have to tell the whole story there. I, I apologize. <laughs> so first wait, first so time what, back. What goes into it? What goes into it? So, so traditionally, a chipino is going to consist of some shellfish, uh, you know, clams, mussels, shrimp, uh, halibut. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. We do a little twist down here. So we do add some of our uh, snow crab tars, and we are using some local rockfish as well. Awesome. Um, you know, to, uh, to enhance the dish. So uh, everyone has their own little kind of way of making it. Sure. This is how we do, do it at Benvenuto. Okay, and, so uh, what, we're, let's get started. Yeah. You've been heating up this pan for yes, a while. Yes, yes. So our pan should be hot, nice and hot. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. All right, and the first thing that we add is our clams. Okay. All right, and uh, this I is gonna, it? sure. And it's gonna, Why is that you know. First thing? So, so the clams typically have the longest cook time. Oh, okay. So, so really the trick to, to this chipino is that, you know, you want to add different, the different, uh, well, they're, you know, they're seafoods, yeah, at different times. So let's say if we were to add the shrimp right now, right. by the time the clams open, the shrimp's overcooked. So you want everything to finish at the yes, same time. Yes, exactly. I was exactly. going to be all like, yeah, you watch, know, watch that. and then I there. realized it was hot. You can yeah. always tell a good chef because they stick their hand right into the pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to. Okay. All right, so, so now we're going we're gonna to start to, you know, spark a little bit here. Uh -huh. All right, now, once we get these clams in, we're going to add some garlic, right? It's a lot we, of garlic. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, you know, it is. So th this is the way Jimmy likes it. This he is the way it. I like it. You know, he likes a lot of garlic in there. And believe me, it cooks down. It just really helps to flavor that sauce. Right. So what we do is, you know, we're just going to kind of get these guys going in here and see how it kind of settles down a little bit. You see him just grab the pan? Yeah. Yeah, so that for me hot, that's... by the way. Yeah, so for me it's, it's a little bit warm and, you know, <laughs> we can always use... It's we can not always too bad. use it one of these. It scared me at first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, know? it's a third degree burn. So you can try there that. There you go. All right. So I'm what we're doing is we're kind of, we're kind of, uh, you know, letting these clams kind of sit in the jacuzzi. All right. Oh. <laughs> and, and the garlic, in the garlic jacuzzi. That's what you tell them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You have to trick them in there. Okay. All right. So once we kind of get these guys going, you just want to kind of flip them in there. Yeah, so. that's what I wasn't going to try. All right. So you want to get that that garlic going. All right. And then you can also increase your heat because okay. you want the garlic to cook. Right. right. You don't okay. just want it. You know, we want to. Get a little bit of color on that. All so right. we're gonna add a little uh, snow crab here, okay? Okay. And then we'll let this go. And I think the next thing we can do is our mussels here, all right? So you can add as many as you like, <laughs> as little as you like, all right? Lisa's a muscle fan. Mm -hmm. You're a muscle fan. <laughs> and then these guys here too, oh, yeah. if he's a little bit open or a little bit broken like I that, mean, we can discard them. So okay. one we'll of the things them. you can do, yes. So one of the things that we like to do is, these guys are very delicate, all right, mm -hmm. muscles. So if you see a muscle that's open like that, I don't know if you can get a close up of that, right. guys. Yeah. All right, what happens is when they're open like that, that means they're, they're dying. Now, one of the things we do at the restaurant when we're cleaning these guys, we tap them. Right. And see how we closed up? Right. Oh my see that? goodness. So that's if he closed up, that means he's still good. He's okay. Yes. Oh, okay. If they don't close, throw them out. You can make someone Move really on. sick okay. by okay. feeding them a, a dead muscle. All right. All right, okay. I will tell you what, we're going to take a little bit of break, let mm -hmm. these uh, kind of cook up a little bit, and then mm -hmm. we're going to come back, finish it up. Absolutely. And then our favorite part, mm. you we're get to try. taste it. Right. right, Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We'll be right back. We are back with Chef Jesus Gordiani of Benvenuto in Milford. And during the break, you finished putting the rest of the items in there. You put some more seafood, the rockfish, uh, some uh, marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. What else did you put in there? It seemed uh, like you put the kitchen sink in there. Yeah, pretty much. We <laughs> pretty much did. We added the rest of the seafood to it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, while we're here, I'd also like to recognize two graduates. Is that okay? That's perfect. So, so I have Colby Johnson, uh -huh. all right, who is, who is uh, you know, one of our own at Benvenuto, and he's homeschooled. And we also have Gannon Webb 
from awesome. Sussex Tech. So That's I wanted terrific. to give these guys a, a shout out if you guys are out there. Yeah. All right. Well, we're very proud of them at the restaurant. Sure, so. sure. So, um, are doing here? Are okay, we're doing? so we're going to play it up. Now, look how beautiful oh, that is. That All is right. beautiful. Can you guys get that? That's <laughs> the best right. way for it to be right All there. All right. So, so we have a, a really uh, unique way of plating this at the restaurant. Oh, you need a bowl? And uh, yes, Jimmy, we're going to use this bowl over here. Okay. All right. That we're is gonna, a big bowl. This is we're, a big we're, we're bowl. Doing. And this is for one. As Jimmy knows, this is for <laughs> one. Yeah, All right. I know. You didn't have to share everything. I know. I'm oh, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> so, so this is how we play this. So, uh, so we have our pasta here. All right. So one of the interesting things about Chipino, all right, it's a Tuscan Chipino. So I I in the region of Tuscany, when they make this, all right, it's never served with pasta. It's oh, always really? served with bread. All okay. right. So, so pretty cool, uh, you know, a uh, little bit of a... Uh, knowledge there. Yeah. All right, so what we do first is we take our crab, all right, and this is really cool for the presentation of it, all right, and what we do here <laughs> is simply fold this over. See that? Ah. Oh my goodness. All right. all right, and what happens when you do this is you're able to stand this guy up, all okay. right? Yeah. Now, we're going to start arranging our seafood, okay. okay? So, basically, we do all of our shrimp, our mussels in here, all right? And we still have to kind of finish this sauce, all right? Okay. And all we're going to simply do is hit this sauce with some Parmesan cheese, ah, all right? Some cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep, mo cheese, mo better. Da, right? I like that. Mo so, better. and this is an actual portion. This isn't. Really? You know, this is what this you turn is, out. This is what oh we turn goodness. out at in this bowl at Benvenuto, okay? That's incredible. So then what we simply do is we put this back on, okay. all right? We mount this with a little bit of cheese and this is going to help to uh, thicken this sauce all right mm. and no one gets left in the pool right yeah, so we have this little shrimp here Lisa says as much cheese as you want yeah. yes you can She's put that whole thing go. in there yes and if you just give this a little stir say it thickens the sauce a little bit right. Mm -hmm. all right and then all this look at that oh. goes over oh look at that all right Bonus. that is perfect now before we send this out obviously Jimmy we're going to clean this plate up a little bit. Just a clean little swipe like that. See that? Because to see it. Mm-hmm. And look at the presentation it makes, right? That's gorgeous. So then what we'll do is, to finish this guy off, we will simply add some lemon here. Right. All right? Because lemon makes everything right. better. Okay. And then we have some beautiful microgreens. It's going to add some color to yeah, it. Yeah, some local yeah. microgreens as well. Yeah, that makes it even better. See? And this is... Is Our that? Tuscan Chipino. How awesome is that? Jimmy, we've been waiting can we, for oh months, my goodness. Can, years. Can, can I safely show this to the camera? Oh, absolutely. Up? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how long does it take somebody to eat this? Because I'm, I'm thinking 30 seconds or so. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys and gals tap out. You know? Really? Yeah. Well, I can see yeah, that because you've got, you got a bunch going on here. Yes, yes. Come, come, please, come in here get in with us. Yeah, you, we got pork for you. Oh, this my goodness. Wonderful. I'm grabbing this shrimp right here. There you go. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try a little bit of you this the fish. fish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like Lisa. I'm going with the shrimp. This is, Chef, i got to tell you, thank you so much for mm. joining us today on our first day back. It's wonderful having you in the kitchen of Historic Studio D. Look at this waiter. Second bite. <laughs> mm. Come back mm. soon, mm. please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Mm.